coming Like something is brewing and about to be Can't put my finger on what lies in store Not for you what's to happen or happen before just about the children. The main po uh, point of this whole story is saving Mr. Banks, and if you've seen Saving Mr. Banks, you'd understand how um, their family's basically falling apart, and Mary has to be the one to show that to the dad. In every one of DP's productions, it is extremely evident that they treat each show with intense care and dedication. They immerse their audience in the storyline and truly bring a sort of magic to the stage. Though doing that is not simple, and a lot of time and work goes on that you never see in order to make these plays possible. And you will soon find that because of that work, their production of Mary Poppins was practically perfect in every way. Oh my gosh, I dedicated my life, my soul, like everything to the production. Every day. Every day for three, three and a half months. Um, Schedule-wise, we're here pretty much weekdays. And then we start with the weekends as we start, as we begin to get closer to the actual performances. It started out, we have rehearsals that are only like four or five hours, but then by the time we get to tech week, we spent like 10 hour rehearsals. And so I stay the extra time, I get here early to make sure that I'm doing everything right. I commit 100%. So the audition process for Mary Poppins was really, really long, but it was worth it. We started out with um, dance and we did step in time and then we all had to get into a line and learn the last song and then we had callbacks for different roles so there was about four of us left for the Mary's callback it took about like six hours um when we audition we don't really go in and say what roles we want i wasn't expecting to get bird i was expecting to get, get like like a little minor role then i got bird and i got really excited in the broadway cast that was the cast where i was bird with manny montes and mary poppins uh and then in the west end cast I was Admiral Boom and then Ensemble member when Oliver was Burton, and Savannah uh, was Mary. They call it the Broadway and the West End cast uh, just as little nicknames. Instead of calling it Cast 1 or Cast 2, they just call it the Broadway cast. This is Broadway in New York, which is where a lot of the American productions go, the North American productions are. And then West End, which is where all the English productions are. Working with Mary Poppins was it was a big show. Dealing with the set, constructing the set, making everything go in the air, as you saw with the rigging. Um, we don't do anything small, so we had ZFX come in, which is our flying company, who taught us how to fly the people and uh, things like that. So it was it was large, and it was dealing with a lot of organization. At first, flying was like the scariest thing, but once you got used to it, it wasn't that bad, and it was actually like the coolest thing. It was a it was a crazy experience because I'm actually afraid of heights. And they asked me if I was afraid of heights, and I told them no. And then they sent me upside down, 20 feet in the air. So it was a bit scary, but it was really fun. I think especially with special effect flying and performance flying, you have to make it look easy. And it's not easy. Because it was a harness that allowed you to flip, so it had a lot of turning, and um, I had bruises on my waist, and there was like, you know, it was like brown, and it was like bleeding and everything, and um, I did hurt my shoulder. We were doing some back handsprings in the air. And so I flipped over and I slowly started to go back and then I just went back. And then when I came up, right here, my shoulder hit the wire. Then we had to rely on each other and the other casts and um, that's the best part about having a double cast is that you can rely on them, they can rely on you and you can work off of each other. We practiced some choreographed things with him still getting to be in the harness and do a flying thing, but they eventually just decided to have me go both nights, and on one night I'd be Bert doing it, and on his night as Bert, I'd just be a random chimney sweep that gets to go do it. It made me a little bit nervous, because I didn't know if I was going to hurt myself too, but I kind of put on an actor face, I was like, fine, I'm not scared of this at all. It's easy to see like the glamour of the show, but things will fall, things will jam, and things will burst, but then it comes to a fluid motion through the rehearsal process, so. Dr. Phillips does musicals with a track, and we always do one a year with the live orchestra. Working in that small pit can sometimes be challenging, but I think 
we chose the right amount of students in there this year. I usually take the first chair players as well as uh, seniority. And I feel like the live orchestra really does add something to the experience because the kids are connecting with live people as opposed to trying to catch up with a track, which can sometimes be really detrimental to a performance if the track starts and you don't start with them or they get confused to where they are. At least with a live group, we can kind of jump and kind of figure out where we are if the kids get lost. The kids had to learn about 24 songs, which I always like to put in perspective for a concert, we learn about four songs. So to learn 24 songs was is a challenge. And when, whenever you work with vocalists, the key changes. If it goes from a male voice to a female voice, the key has to change because they don't sing in the same keys. And at, at first, you know, two days before, we were like, ah, how are we gonna do this? But when everything came together, it was the greatest feeling, really. It was just amazing, and I was so proud of those kids. There's, there's no feeling like that. I'd say the best part about being a part of this production was the relationships I made, especially with the kids. That's the best experience I could say. Uh, working with uh, different personalities, different characters, bringing everybody together as one is the most incredible feeling you will get. I think it was really rewarding to know that we brought the magic to everyone in the audience. I think it was phenomenal that we got to have that kind of experience because that was a, a huge budget show that was really high quality so it was almost as if we were on a Broadway stage so it was it was really good that we got to do something like that with Miss Emerson. Mary Poppins has been my dream role since I was eight years old because I saw it on Broadway so it's something that I've loved my entire life and I'm glad I got to experience it.